Okay, we found a satisfactory picture back out here in St. James Court. Uh, filming has resumed. Here's something I like. Here's my favorite feature of being down here. Or one of them. It's the lamplighter carving. St. James Court Lamplighter. Apparently this was carved by Rob Peterson in 2013. Well, I'll tell you what, he did a hell of a job. It sure looks cool. Very fine details. What? Oh. Well, that's, they have the grass out here for it, I guess. Yeah, they actually cut it. Of course they are. It's a nice neighborhood. Louisville Animal Services. Oh, that's great. I wonder if they were looking for this dog that was running through the yards over here. I guess I'll turn this. Oh, well, we're coming up on the Pink Palace, so. Hopefully they, that kid doesn't moon us like he did when we were on the tour. Huh? Yeah. It is somebody's house. Mm hmm. And he came out and asked us if we liked lemonade for some reason. That was strange. I thought he was going to make a pee joke, but, you know. Nice looking house. That's a good looking tree. Not as good looking as the witch's tree. That thing is, that tree, that witch's tree is what Clive Barker would describe as repulsive glamour. It's got sort of a hideous majesty about it. Wow, that's a beautiful house. Did you see that? Oh. That's the house that I think that woman we were talking to that one time lives in. Is that all connected? I mean, it's connected. Like one house, yeah. yeah. That's that's why she was like, "Well, that pink palace isn't it? It isn't even that big." <laughs> I guess you could say that. Look at the size of the house she lives in. <laughs> All right. Here's the pink palace. A lot of stories to this one. The stories of this one are a little more well known about it once being a brothel one. All that, and it was a bed and breakfast long after that. And some women bought it that were like fanatical church people, and it was built for some women's, or it was bought. They painted it pink to eradicate it of its history of gambling and prostitution. And there's a, apparently there's a ghost there named Avery that uh, shows up to save people from bad stuff. Yeah. This is where that lady was telling us that there's all kinds of hauntings around this area. The house is still for sale. looking
A lot of people think of Kentucky and they think like of... This house yeah, this house is going through renovations. People think of Kentucky and they think of Hicksville. There's a lot of nice places in Kentucky. Old Louisville being one of them. And unfortunately, I don't think the camera's really picking up any of this because it's so dark. That's a big place. This is more or less just a walk through St. James Court. You scared me. You want to turn it off now since we're headed to that house? Yeah. Alright, All right, signing off. This was just a fun little walk through St. James Court.